Hello, I'm Ale and welcome to Solo Cosenove. Let's see the right way to use the radiators. How to save money and which one to mount according to the thermal power of your home. We have already seen how to disassemble a radiator. Maybe you want to replace it, perhaps they were damaged over time. Other times we are concerned with how to have a warmer home. Furthermore, there is in fact a way to understand if our system is undersized compared to the square footage of our home. Radiators. How to save money. Home installation. I think this is the most important point of all because it is useless to have a stove that burns and produces thousands of watts if the walls are made by cardboard with holes. It seems quite obvious to me. But the first thing to do is to look for drafts and eliminate them to limit the energy loss of the apartment. If the house is equipped with an external coat or sufficiently thick walls, or maybe the house is made of wood, it is even better. Otherwise, you can still try the thermal paint, which is also anti-mold. I tried and I'm satisfied with it. Heating system sizing. As you may already know, each module of the heating system correspond to a precise thermal power, usually expressed in watts, sometimes in calories. By mounting the radiator modules in a series, we are going to increase the power supplied by the system. However, this number alone does not say too much. It must be in fact compared with a specific value, for example with the power of the room where it is installed. This will make it clear why in a given room we've always been cold or warm. But how to calculate the thermal power of the house? And how many radiator modules to use? To do this I created a simple free software that you can find on my website solocosanove.it How much to turn on the boiler? There are different types of boilers but as far as I know, of course in Italy when I wrote this article the only one that complies the law is the condensing one. So I'll use this for reference. It's a type of boiler that uses the same fumes produced by the combustion to enhance the heating of the water, which will then flow in the system. However, this advantage will be greater with the boiler still running. It will be lost with a frequent on-off. Therefore, it's advisable to keep the temperature of the water below the 50 degrees Celsius. Often even below 40 degrees Celsius is sufficient. But you must keep it on for a long period of time. If desired, you can also opt for a rather low temperature, but without ever turning it off. However, this depends a lot on your lifestyle. As those who are always home, perhaps smart workers or housewives, may prefer to have a constant temperature. On the other hand, if you are away all the day long, it might be better to turn it on when needed and adjust the temperature accordingly. All bearing in mind that for an excellent restful sleep, the temperature should be around 16 degrees. You have the duvet anyway. Final considerations. In short, I hope that which one of you have radiators understood how to save money. Obviously, each one of us is different and has its own needs. I brought you my considerations and the little I know about this topic. Feel free to comment down here and tell me your experiences. By the way, if you like this video, leave a thumb up, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you won't miss any content like this and help the channel to grow. Thanks! Thank you for following me today and see you in the next exciting video!